had a puppy for Brooks. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> yeah, Brooks like he, Brooks is his favorite right now. Actually, that is true, but it's not for him. Fine, got it for myself. Yeah, we're calling him Bull. Bull. Like an animal. Like an animal, yeah. Okay. I'm giving him a human name. It's bad luck. My mom had a dog called Heifer. She lived for a long time. And then we had one we called Philly, and she was really good. She lived for a long time. Because they had animal names? Because they're animal names. <laughs> oh, we had them when they were pups. Those other ones we got, we got when they're like a year old. A little bit naughty. This is our first puppy in a long time, guys, and... It's a bit much. It's a bit much. After having kids that can kind of take care of themselves and, uh, you know. Wants to chew on everything. Wants to play constantly. That's why he likes Brooks. Because <laughs> Brooks, Brooks lets him play all day with him. Mm-hmm. So t tell everybody what he is. What kind of dog? He is a male dog, <laughs> not a female. And he doesn't identify as anything but a male. Might get neutered. <laughs> he will for sure get neutered. <laughs> He'll for sure get neutered, Danielle says. So his parents, one of his parents is a Border Collie, and one of his parents is a Aussie, Australian Shepherd. I don't know what's what. Got him from a guy in St. John's, so just down the road. But I thought he looked real cute. Yeah, he's kind of like... Chestnut. Chestnut. Kind of a chestnut color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll probably just leave them in the trailer, huh? Yeah. What are we doing today? Uh, we are gathering up some uh, later calves. Some calves are probably fall calves. And we're going to take them to the cell barn. We gathered some up yesterday, me, Jasper, and Ross. And we're getting some more today. I kind of, uh, well, we went through one herd yesterday. We kind of went through another herd after that. But just kind of. So today we're going to ride out into the herd. We're, we'll probably put, uh, we'll move them pastures. And as we're moving them pastures, we'll kind of find the, the calves. And to separate them off, load them up. Okay. It might be wild. And it's just us two today. I noticed Jasper wasn't here, Ross wasn't here, Jerry wasn't here, so I was like, well shoot, I guess I better saddle up my horse. <laughs> and Val's riding the colts that we started last week. I could have brought one of them colts out. He could have rode it out here, but. Yeah, I want to get all of them colts ridden. If we did that, he might just ride a few or one or. Yeah, I'm gonna keep consistent with them, ride them consistently okay see you in a little bit over the hill said I'm gonna go check over this hill and then I never saw him again so here's my bunch got them all down here by the spring and 
I got everything from up there and from up behind me. So I guess we'll go ahead and just start pushing them out of here. I'm pretty sure we'll meet Henson somewhere along the way. Ghosty wanted to run today. Check him out. He's all foamed up again. I've learned with Ghost, if he wants to run, you let him run. And then that will lessen your chances of getting bucked off because he gets so anxious. <laughs> One time we were gathering up horses and he wanted to run after the horses. And I was like, no, Henson's running after the horses. We aren't. And I didn't let him run after the horses and he reared up and I jumped off and yeah, that was the second time he threw me and I've been, you know, pretty scared of them ever since. So these cows are going the wrong way. I'm going to push them out the other way.
How was your ride? It was good. It was fine. Had a couple of brat cows, but yeah, it was good. My horse rode good. He uh, had a lot of go. Wanted to really work the cows. It was good. So it was ghost. So it was ghost? Yeah, he was really wanting to go. <laughs> Yeah, good ride. Got uh, what we needed done, right? For the most part. Yeah. I think some cows might have been laying down because it's kind of windy. Well, I've seen a lot laying down. But yeah, I think we got a lot of them. Let's go back right through there and get some more. But it was fun. It was a good ride. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's definitely uh, spring, huh? Yeah. Indeed. So, if you're new to the channel, we ride a lot of different horses, and Ghost is like my only horse I have in right now, and it's kind of different from me. I guess you could have rode Sensei. Yeah, I know. I was going to ride Sensei, but... Oh, you were? But you said oh. you were going to ride him, so I was like, okay, damn right, I could have rode something else. I was going to get plenty, too, but... I could have rode plenty. Anyway, we usually have a, like a ton to choose from, and Dibs just had her baby, so I'm not riding her. Sunny has turned out just for a little bit because we were on vacation, and so is Crazy. And I sold Vixen, so I'm kind of just down to Ghost, and kind of weird to just have one that you ride yeah. all the time. I rode plenty yesterday, so gave him a break. He could have been ridden. Also, if you're new to the channel, we um, Henson starts a lot of outside horses, and he rides a lot of his dad's horses. Yeah. Um, but I don't think we have any outside horses right now because yeah. um, we just took it easy. We knew we were going to be on vacation and stuff. So, yeah, a lot of horses come and go, and we sell them and have a lot to choose from usually. And if you're wondering, I did bring a snack today. This is my snack. Henson keeps trying to steal some for me. But I thought you brought the good oh, seeds. Got some seeds too. I don't like these ones though. I like these ones. These are still my favorite. Chili. Chili sunflower seeds. This one is the natural flavor of this brand, Cha Cha. Henson actually likes the coconut flavor. Yep. Tastes like butter too. Tastes like coconut and butter. And coconut milk. We are headed back to the house because Brooks needs to be picked up from the bus stop. I might haul the calves to Sun Valley, maybe. I don't know. See what Jerry wants to do. We might haul the calves tonight. I gotta pick up the horses at the round pin at Val Road. The video's over, but our day's not over. We're still having fun all day. All right, guys. See you. Well, hey, guys. I'm really mismatched right now. Anyways, <laughs> Henson's in front of me, and we are headed to the round pen to work these horses again. So I just wanted to kind of get a little bit of video of their progress. Today will be day seven, and just kind of see where they are seven days later. There's a couple days that Vale had them um, on his own, and Henson, I think, rode them yesterday, and we'll watch him ride them again today and of course we have our sidekick here hey bull what's up huh bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Well, hey.
Where's his, <coughs> where's his brand? <coughs> I don't know. Somewhere. Can't see it. No? Mm -mm. Hmm. All right, everybody's unloaded. Okay, so here we go with horse number one. This is the Blue Roan filly that I showed at the end of the last video. We didn't get to see her much, but here's her day seven. I think Henson's going to start loping here in a little bit. But uh, if you're new to the channel or kind of rusty, <laughs> um, our program is... You know, Henson will start outside horses, but the J Hart horses take precedence over everything. And these are, like I said in the last video, Jerry's Jerry's personal horses right now. They all have the J Hart brand and have been born and raised here. And if you caught in the last video that Henson has 17 of those to start. And that includes one of ours she's a bayron filly i'll show her today too but uh she's she's doing good she looks real comfortable i don't know maybe not her ears are kind of pinned back <laughs> she probably doesn't like hints and spurs how come her ears are pinned back that's just her thing that's her thing i guess Henson's got a mic on. But yeah, these J Hart horses will take precedence and that's why Henson gets paid the big bucks to start all these horses for his dad. And we will take some outside horses, but those are very limited and I think we have our list full for this year. We're only taking a handful of outside horses this year, so Henson can focus on Sensei and goner and crazy and just kind of put more of a finish on those so yeah the colts that come here either from other people outside the ranch or these ranch horses they all get all the ranch experience they'll get to rope calves gather cows and horses um, be used in the branding pin, get sorted on, or sort on, I don't know how you say it. So they get lots of exposure and Henson's not cheap, so <laughs> all of that experience is included in his colt starting fee. <laughs> Her ears are all pinned, but she's moving real nice. <laughs> Kind of funny. See, Henson didn't even need to pull on the reins. She just kind of came back to him when he sat. She's looking real good. And look at this guy. He's just all chill, just sitting in there. Good boy, huh, Bo? Hey, Bo. Hey. I think he's trying to get her to step her front across. There he goes. Move her front. Yep. So, what do you think of this one? Um, she's good. She's a little lazy. Doesn't really want to get going. But, I mean, I could take her out and she probably would be better than in here. She'd probably go out a little speed. I mean, she's pretty good about moving around in here, but if I take her out, I think she'd even be a little bit better. She just wants to get done and be put away. <laughs> I'll lope her this way. She's picking up those correct leads, so that's nice. It's always nice when a horse can pick up the correct lead. Yeah. I'm 
She knew I was going to back her up. <laughs> Smart girl. See that halter's using is a halter that we sell on our website. We really like those stiff rope halters. That's yacht rope and that's a 10 foot lead. It's pretty heavy uh, lead rope. We like that feel. Henson likes that feel. So if you like those, that's our signature color, turquoise and black. And those are on the website if you're interested. We have the average size and a weanling size. Yeah, she's ready to go out and start working. He's a little bit sticky going that way, and he kept on want. He was he was wanting me to let him stop. He's like, just ask me to stop. He's a little stiffer today, a little more sticky at certain things, but probably because it's Friday and I bet he's kind of sore. Just like if I was going to the gym every day. <laughs> That's why I don't go to the gym. I get sore and I don't want to go back. I think this colt feeling a little sore. Uh, he started off kind of sticky. He didn't really move off just my feet when I asked him to go forward. I had to ask him more than I wanted to, as you probably saw. But at the end, you know, when I had him stopped and then asked him to move forward, he moved off lighter. Same thing, I was just going in a circle. He was a little bit bracy, maybe pulling against it. Maybe it didn't look like it. But a little bit, a little sticky. Kind of just wanting to stop. Instead of just keeping forward motion. But at the end, he got smoother about it but like I said he's probably sore he's been going to gym every day it was Friday he didn't want to come <laughs> me too so he already worked this one on the ground a little bit this one's a filly and we'll kind of just see where she is when he first steps on her
I don't know about you guys, but that's just way too boring. She's just too easy. <laughs> okay, that's horse number three. And Bold is just chilling out. Tell me your thoughts on her. I think she pays attention pretty good when you're on her. I think she really wants to please. She seems like she's always paying attention, not thinking about other stuff. I mean, she probably is thinking about the other horses too, but she really thinks about what you're doing. She's good. Do you have a favorite so far? They're all good. I don't know. It's all pretty good. Hi, mister. What are you doing, huh? <laughs> yeah, pickups? Looks like it. It seems really light backing up. It used to be pretty sticky. But today's, yeah, it's good. Don't be asking, yeah? This guy got worked on the ground just a little bit more because he didn't want to face and be caught. That's why yeah. he's, he's breathing a little harder. I don't think he wanted to be ridden today. He had a little bit of attitude about it. But he got good. He's probably a little bit more nervous than any of them on above him. Just moving bothers him a little bit more than others yeah I saw you rubbing your jacket and yeah he's, he's worried about it more than other ones are eight down one more to go whatever <laughs> So this is pretty much how all of them saddle now. I'll just stand there.
So that's it for the Colts today, huh? Yeah, we'll ride them out next week. So they'll have a couple days off, and then Monday I'll probably just ride them out in a circle. A big circle. <laughs> Not really. Just go ride them out in the pasture a little bit. Turn them, stop them, same thing. Move their hind end over. They'll probably move more freely out in the open. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it for the Colts, guys. See you next video.